Hello everyone. A big question mark is what I have here on the Euro New Zealand as we head into the first week of the new month. I'm not sure where price is going to be heading at despite the fact we have a structure that supports a trend continuation to the downside as we can see since in the last two to three years price have been trending to the lower side. So when I moved on to the four hours time frame, it becomes a little bit clearer on what might be happening during the new week as we can see that price has, has a specific trend line that has been respected since the beginning of the month of June. So we can see that since the month of June price has been trending, respecting that bullish trend line as at no point in time did price come below that trend line during the period of 30 days and as we, price is presently rocking right above that bullish trend line heading into the later part of last month. So at this point in time, what is really going to be happening? If we consider the long-term bullish, long-term bearish momentum, sorry, there is a possibility that price could break down that bullish trend line, retest of structure to push price further to the downside. And the other scenario here is possibility that price will be respecting this bullish trend line and sending price to the upside. So going into the new week, how do we intend to take advantage of whatever perspective price is going to be taking this week? So the first thing I did here is to identify a key level to guide my actions going forward. And when I look left, we can see that we have a structure right at around 1.6800 area, which had served as a, bull, as a base for a bullish momentum and at the same time, a bearish momentum in the past. If we look left, we can see this area had been a resistant point. And at this point, it became a demand zone then a resistant at this point, a resistant, a demand zone, and a resistant again. And before we saw the breakout of structure on the first day of this, of this month, and price appears to be doing a retest of the structure. So what are we going to be looking out for here? Is price going to continue to the upside, or are we going to be having a breakdown of that key level? So with a key level identifier 1.68 area, it makes our job easier to identify whatever momentum price intends to take. So going into the new week, what I, oh, sorry. Um, sorry, excuse me. So going into the new week, what do I want to be looking out for? Now, let's zoom into what has been happening lately. So with a key level sitting at 1.68, I want to be looking forward to a breakdown of those bullish trend line to give me a signal of a bearish momentum where I will be looking forward to a retest of structure. It could be a retest of this, bear, of this bullish trend line or price could go as far as retesting that key level. Then we look out for patterns on lower time frame that supports a trend continuation to the downside. The other scenario here is this. I want to be looking out for price. Price might come into this level come right above that key level at 1.68, do a retest, then push price to the upside. So with both scenarios, where will our take profit target be? So if we are going to be taking a selling momentum, I want to look out for the 1.65, 1.642 area as my take profit target. And why is that so? If we look left, we can see that this area at 1.642 was the area where price action started during the month of June. And we saw the move to this upside and I'm thinking there is a possibility that price could break down the trend line, retest it to push price to the downside, even as far as going further down than that. But in as much as we don't want to be too ambitious going into the new week, we want to be using the 1.642 area as a possible take profit target in the meantime, after which if we see a breakdown of that structure, then we could be looking to add, to join a a a trend continuation to the downside. Now, the other scenario here, okay, if we look at that, we will be having how many pips that is? We have around um, 300, a minimum of 300 pips to catch if price will be going to the downside. And if price is going to be going to the upside on this one, I want to be looking out for 
let me go to the daily time frame please and let's see what's happening here on the daily time frame okay so let's go back now that we have sorry going back to the format there. so one thing i want to be looking out for here is a possible using this impulse leg here i want to be extending it into the sorry hold on did i just click that okay Looking at this impulse leg, I want to be extending this impulse leg at the site of a reversal pattern around this area. So what am I saying? Let me give you a visual representation of what I'm talking about here. So I want to be looking forward to a reversal pattern within this area. It could be a double bottom structure, a inverse head and shoulder, or whatever reversal pattern that appears at this point. We look out for breakout of structure, retest of structure, and we look for an extension of that previous impulse leg. So to be more specific, I want to be using my Fibonacci extension tool, run it through that previous impulse leg, and let us aim at at least a minimum bit that falls within the 127.2 and the 1414 area, which will dovetail to how many pips that is from this point right above the key level into this area, dovetail to at least around 250 pips to catch. So this is my scenario here. Um, on the on the euro new zealand let's see what's going to happen during the early hours of the week but rest assured that i will be coming here to drop updates in that regard so whatever price action tells us in the first few hours of the week will now determine where we'll be going where price is going to be heading throughout the week join me on my follow me on my trading view platform so that you don't miss out on the regular updates I normally share in the comment section of my TradingView account. Thank you for watching and do have a wonderful day.